If you're thinking about applying to grad school, plan this early in advance so the deadlines don't creep up on you. Hi, this is Steve from College Express, and today we're gonna to be talking about the essential grad school search and application timeline. Right now, you're very early on in the grad school process, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is create a list of things you need and want from a grad program. From there, you're gonna do some research on schools that would fit this criteria, and then you're going to create a list of schools that interest you the most, based on some initial research into each program. Around this time, you should start taking a closer look at your grad school options. Request some information from each institution and further expand the spreadsheet you created last month to compare each of the schools on your list by the same criteria. Now is about the time when you want to work on completing your research spreadsheet. As you go along, you want to make sure you eliminate some of the programs that may not fit the criteria the best. And at this point, you want to have like a general ranking system of which school you would want to go to the most. Roughly nine months out, you want to start preparing for the graduate standardized tests, which most institutions will want. At this point, you want to start familiarizing yourself with the logistics and take some practice tests. Also, start planning your campus visits. Although you don't need to visit them now, making travel plans ahead of time will help you in the long run. Now would be the time to do a little more niche research into the schools you have on your list now that everything has been narrowed down even more. Read student reviews, research alumni and what they've accomplished after leaving the school, and even check out how your grad school ranks compared to other ones. This will help you narrow it down even more. You should now contact a current student or recent graduate of the institution on your list to get an insider's perspective. If you don't know anybody, ask the graduate admissions office or the alumni office and they may be able to put you in contact with someone. Make sure to ask each graduate the same question so you have consistent information when updating your spreadsheet and doing a second evaluation of your list. At this point, with about six months left in your process, you should go on campus visits and visit all the schools that are on your list so you can get a great sense of the institution. If you're unable to go see the school in person, there are always options for a virtual campus tour. And one side note we should let you know, if there is an admission interview that is required as part of the application process, try scheduling that during your visit. Around this time, you should be registering for any standardized tests needed for admissions if you haven't already. Make sure to give yourself enough time for retakes if you're not happy with the scores. And also start thinking about and preparing anyone you want to write letters of recommendations for you for the schools. With four months to go, it's finally time to start making your grad school shortlist. You've been working hard on your graduate program search for months now, and you should have a good idea of where you would like to apply. There is no limit to the number of grad schools you can apply to, but you'll likely only need like five or six. So make sure to give yourself enough time to complete each application to an exemplary standard, and make sure to keep all of your research just in case the institution doesn't end up working out for you and you end up leaving and transferring. So you won't be starting from scratch when you resume the research process. At this point, you should be starting your application essays and statements of purpose and asking the people you want to write your recommendations to give them enough time to write out the letters. You should have more than one or two people write these letters out for you, especially if you are planning on applying to several grad schools. It's now crunch time and you need to fill out your grad school application. Set aside time each day or every other day to do this. That way you'll get a little done each time and lessen your chances of feeling overwhelmed, rushing, or making mistakes. Also follow up with your recommenders to make sure they are ready to submit their letters and forms and have everything they need. We also recommend that you request the transcripts from your undergrad institutions that you attended. Most colleges and universities are quite familiar with this part of the grad school application process and have an efficient procedure in place. The last thing to do now is fine tune your applications. Go over each of the sections to be sure you have accurately and completely answered all questions, check for mistakes, and thoroughly proofread your essays. Then prepare your application fees and make sure you have the money to cover them all. Decline credit cards and balance checks do not make good first impressions. Once this is all said and done, enjoy the unique sensation of the accomplishment and terror of finally sending everything in.
And before we go, if you need a comprehensive checklist to keep you on track, you can also check out our grad admission checklist series, which goes more in depth on what you should be doing month to month. The link for that can be found in the description below. If you like this video, make sure to like and hit that subscribe button. Also click the bell button if you want to know when the next video goes live for a notification.